Today we've got a new winter time project. We're going to see if we can get one of these BDLC motors to run off a variable frequency drive. This is the variable frequency drive that I'm using, the model number and all that. And I'm going to stand it up. And right now it is drawing about 28 watts. And we're going to fire it up and then we're going to discuss the actual controller. So here it is. It's going. Frequency is ramping up. It's going to ramp up to about 475 cycles a second. There it is. Locked in at 475. And at 475, it is going to run about 1192 rpm so that's about as fast it'll go with this controller because this controller is only less than half a kilowatt you'd need a you know one horsepower controller this is only a half horsepower controller and when you hit the uh, power down it slowly ramps it down i've got it set for 10 second ramp down and it'll ramp down the speed till it gets down about six cycles a second and then the rotor will lock you'll see it lock and then it locks now setting this controller up is relatively easy and over here I have all the the specs for this controller and the things that you need to set if you're going to use a variable frequency drive it got to have this SLV mode and you have to set the controller to one which is SLV mode, because default from the factory over here is zero. This is one of the most important things. If it doesn't have an SLV mode, it won't run your motor. And then we move on down, and if you want the potentiometer on the keypad to work, you have to set this, this parameter over here, this 0006, has to be set to 1. And then as you come down, this is... Um, main alternate frequency command mode which is zero 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 seven that needs to be set to one and then the uh, communication frequency command needs to be set to zero and i'm going to show how to do all this or at least some of it so you can get an idea and then this frequency upper limit now i have that set for 475 hertz because that's about as fast as it'll drive it without tripping out the unit itself. And then the lower frequency limit, which is here, which is 0013, that's set to 0, 0.00. And then down here, the jog frequency is set to 11. And that goes from 1 to 25. That's just how quick it spools up. And there's another sheet over here. This is the... Um, jog acceleration deceleration if you see this one here is default set to 0 0.5 but i wrote that in there in case you get a different controller then you'll be able to set it and this is the um volt hertz pattern that matches the volts to the frequency and that's set to pattern two now this is on this specific variable frequency drive and then the max frequency, I got. I left that set, it was set at 50, you could set it at 60, but it's fine to leave it like it is. And then down here, we've got 01-10, and that is the volt curve modification, basically torque boost, and that's set to 1.0, and then... No load oscillation suppression gain. That's to keep the thing from pulsating when there's no load on it. It'll sit there and go up and down and up and down. And that's set to 120.0. And then the motor hunting prevention coefficient is set to 7100. And then motor hunting prevention gain, that's set to 0. And then motor hunting prevention limit, 
is set to 5.0 and it was that way from the factory but in case yours isn't that's where it's got to be set and all these have numbers like these numbers here are 01-15 and we'll talk about that in a minute then the auto torque compensation gain is set to zero and then the actual motor this is an LG motor I'll show what model it is and the part number in a minute but the motor rated um, voltage I set for 200 because this this inverter is capable of 264 volts and it doesn't really matter but I've got it set for 200 now this the motor rated power the maximum rated power for this inverter is 0 0.4 so that's what I've got it set for if you go higher or lower then it won't run and then the motor rated frequency I've got it set to 350.0 because that's where the th where the motor reaches its you know peak performance when you go higher the performance drops off a little you know but the thing does go pretty good and you can't stall it so those are all the settings and then how to set it how to set it up so say we're over here and we want the motor control method which is the first one factory is zero we need to set it to one so what you do you come over here and you press mode one time or two depending on where it's at but when you see these digits with a dash between then you're not you know you're in the code mode so right now it says zero 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 so all you do is press enter and then the digits flash and you can change the you can change to a different code like if you wanted um, say zero 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 six then you press the up key and it goes to zero 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 six then you press and hold enter and it tells what it's set for so it says zero 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 six is set to one so you come over here and look we just changed it to zero 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 six and we need that set to one so you come back over here and it shows that it's set to one so then you press and hold enter and it enters it in and says end so now that's entered in and then if you want to go back you press mode and I've got this set up to show amps you press mode again it shows the frequency that it's set for right now and then if you need to change a parameter or code group again you just press mode until you see these you know numbers with a dash between and you're good to go so basically if I want to go to say I'm over here and I want to go to frequency upper limit set to 475 so I need 00-12. So right now it's on 0016. So I press enter just quick and the digits start flashing. Now because that's a column I can just press the button and bring it up to 00-12. Which was this over here. 0012 frequency limit upper. And that's set right now to 475. So I'm going to press this enter button and hold it. And now it shows what it's set for 475.00 and if i want to if i want to keep that i can press and hold enter if i want to change that i just press enter quick and see how the digits flashing press enter again now the next digits flash and press enter again next enter again next and you can use the up and down arrow key see i go up to 485 but i want to keep it at 475 press enter again and it you can go to the next column now anytime you got the digit display that you want you press and hold enter and it says end and now that's programmed in so that's pretty much how all all of these things that are in here these different sections that's how you program them to get them set to what you want if it's not programmed like that it won't work it it absolutely has to have this SLV mode. If you buy a controller that doesn't have an SLV mode, it will not work with this motor. You're wasting your money. And this is the actual controller, the box that it came in. The model number made by Teco Westinghouse. I mean, it was relatively expensive, you know, but 
it was, I don't know if it was worth it, but it's fun. Something to, something to play with in the winter. Here we go. We're going to ramp this up. It's ramping up, and it shows how many amps it's, that it's using. 1.4, yeah, 1.8, 1.9. Now, if you go to 2 amps, the controller will pick out, because that's the max that it can handle for the controller that it is. And when you have it set like this, this thing draws, like, a lot of watts. I mean, you're looking at, you know, sometimes 580. It, it moves around. Now, if I, if I put a brake to it and stall it, see, it'll go to 1,000, 1,100, and it'll handle it. And you can't stop this motor. I mean, it's definitely, see, I'm trying to stall it. You can't stop it. It just keeps turning. It has auto torque control and all that. I mean, I wouldn't recommend using one of these for a generator. Only because it would take too much torque to turn it. The magnets are on the outside. But it is a good motor to drive something with. And I may make another video where I talk about uh, doing it a different way. I'm going to run this thing down to, to about 40 cycles a second. And I'm going to just show something. So we got to wait for it to come down. We'll get it down to about 40. You can adjust it to wherever you want. Yeah, we'll go with 39.71. Now at 39.71, this thing's still using 140 watts. Okay? Now I have, mine is set up a little bit different. Now if you look down here, these are the these are the coil wires and if you see the middle one's red left is yellow and the right one is blue now if you look at this controller they're on here the exact same way here on the t1 t2 t3 as they are on the motor if you don't put them on the same way they are lined up on your motor then it won't run and these are just uh, old wires for sensors that I put in for another controller that didn't work near as well as this. Now this right now is running at 100 RPMs. And you can't stop it. I mean, it, see, it just speeds up. You can hear it speed up. But what I did was I, I changed the motor and I can... This is the way the motor is, right? It's basically just using these three phases now on the controller that I have but I put a wire here in the center and what I do is I've got another controller that I built just quick to see if it function and I put my 30 volts in here and this is the controller believe it or not just this here and basically what happens is each one of these phases the ABC phases connect here like A, B, C. You know, and there's a ground coming off it, and you basically put power to it, and it will run this motor at the speed it's running now at 10.5 watts with this, with this controller here. Where this one controller up here is now sitting at 140 watts. So it's way more efficient to do it that way but you do have to add this wire. And it's pretty easy to do. This is a, these are the part numbers for the, um, for all the rotor and the stator and the wiring harness from LG. You can find used ones on eBay. You could probably get both of them for, uh, I've seen them as low as $40. Depends on how long you want to wait to get it, you know, what condition it's in. And then, Basically what I did is inside of here there's a tab inside this motor where all the coils join together and I added this tab right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's a shiny gold tab back in there. And basically that gold tab is where all these points join. You can find it inside the motor and there's a it's just soldered and you can just solder on a tab or a wire or whatever you need to solder on to energize this and I'm going to try to maybe build a controller and I'm going to use 
these relays to switch it because I can run, you know, 200 volts into this relay and I can use a uh, three-phase controller on this side to control the relays. I don't know how, what's the highest frequency they'll operate at, but I'll find out. Or I may just use power MOSFETs like these down here and just build it on a board, make it, you know, make it nice with a three-phase controller. That the three-phase controller goes up into the way past the um, 600 hertz that this controller over here does. This does 599 hertz. And now if you if you wind this up and you get right about 350 or so, you can hear you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it on the video or not. Now sometimes I can hear it a little. You can hear it singing. That's a resonant frequency for this motor at this voltage. So that's actually the most efficient, you know, that this motor is going to run. But I'll probably be posting other videos and stuff when I make the new controller. Because I don't think that this controller is really the way to go. Because this is really, this is really a stepper motor. It's three phase, but it's, it's a stepper motor all day long. And you can hear it whistling right now at 338 hertz. So that's it for now. I'll probably be posting some stuff. This is just a winter project, so it might be a while before I post anything again.